How, how um, relevant would, would have this sign been right now in today's political climate, where the Supreme Court basically just did one of the most worst, dis, worst landmark decisions in the history of the Supreme Court, basically giving uh, corporations the full rights of individuals so corporations can give unlimited amounts of money uh, to political campaigns. This is going to completely change the political climate that we live in and have corporations buy politicians worse than they already do. And having a sign that was staring at the state capitol that says who owns the government would have been perfectly relevant. But these are the types of uh, messages that the Madison City government say no, we're not, we're not having this up. So I was very in, inspired by the pail and, and shovel party, and I was really inspired by their boombox parades, where the great community radio station WORT would be in cahoots with this with this um, parade, and they would play a series of songs while people would gather at a certain location, sometimes at the bottom of State Street, all with boomboxes, and march up the street with these boom boxes blasting the music, these songs that were pre-programmed through Wart. There's a sign that might confuse many people uh, that says, Knuckles the dog was a very good dog he was. You know, when people walk up to that, people either are not going to get it or they're going to fall down laughing because um, it honors the legendary Madison band Killdozer. And Killdozer wrote this great song, Knuckles the dog. Uh, obviously, the United We Consume signs were for State Street, which there's an incredible amount of amazing uh, businesses and locally owned business, but still, in that, in that street and in, in the city I live in and pretty much all over the country, cons consumption is what we do. I was honoring the late, great Michael Jackson with a lyric from, uh, from one of his songs, says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. And it's an image of a surveillance camera. And that sign was going to go actually on the exact same pole that had one of those uh, surveillance cameras. And that actually the police department, I was told by the curator of the Madison Museum of, uh, of Contemporary Art that she actually had a discussion with the police department and they actually thought that was a really interesting sign and would really provoke a larger community discussion about surveillance cameras and crime and, and, and laws and so on in the city.